So let's start off by making a model for our shopping item. Inside of the source folder, I'm going to create a new folder called models. And inside of here, we can make a folder called item and a file called item.model.ts. We can then export a new interface named item. And we can think of some things that our item may have. So it could have a key, which is a string. So that's the key for this particular item. When we add it to the Firebase database, we also know that we have a name, which is a string, a quantity, which is a number, and a price, which is a number. If you're making a different application, then your model will subsequently be different. Remember to keep this in mind as you develop your applications. So we're now able to define what an item looks like. So we can go over to our add shopping item.ts and inside of here, we can create a new item and that will be based off the item interface and it will have a name which will be empty, a quantity of zero and a price of zero. We'll need to import the item model we can head back over to our add shopping item.html and we can set the ng model of each one of our inputs to be item.name. This time it will be item.quantity. And finally, item.price. I should also say that we have added this question mark for this key inside of the item model. And this essentially says that the key is optional. So when we're creating these objects, we don't need to add a key because that's what Firebase is going to do for us. Another thing at this point, we could set the quantity and price to be undefined. And that's if we didn't want to, for example, give this a default value. But what I then want to do is underneath the iron item and above the button, I want to bind to the item and use the JSON pipe. You can then set iPad Pro, quantity of one and price of 700. Notice how we get this information as part of this object when we fill out our item, which we could then hit add and would add this to the database. So let's now hook up that functionality so we can add this to our shopping list. That's all coming up in the next lecture.